What's happening traders and investors? Alex here and today I'll show you guys how to open an interactive brokerage account. If you already have an account, I'll also show you guys how to open a sub account, which is what I'm going to do today because I already have my main trading account. So when you're opening an account, there's a few things you have to know is just which type of account that you need if you're looking for cash or margin. And I'll show you guys the difference between the two. So I hope you guys are going to enjoy this video. If you do like and subscribe. Also, all the tools that I'm using to day trade and invest will be linked in the description. So if you're looking for a broker, scanner, charts, our news feed everything will be linked down below but so the first thing we're going to do is head over the website and make sure we are on individual and we're going to click individual joint or ira so when you're on this page you're going to see that it's going to talk about the ib care advantage so of course if you're looking to swing trade or invest in the long term margin rate is something that's important and they have a really low margin rate so i think it's the lowest one out there but something that's really interesting is this second line over here so that means if you own any small cap that's hard to borrow in general so you're long the position other brokers are going to be able to lend your shares and you're going to be profiting so example they lend your shares at four cents or ten cents to someone else you're going to be receiving a part of the commission so that means by just owning or being along the stock so you're pretty much acting as a broker that's lending shares like the typical small cap brokers so the last one that's interesting is the fractional share so it lets you own a percentage of a share so example amazon is trading at four thousand dollars a share and you only want to have a two thousand dollar position so you're able to buy half a share which is something that's interesting if you have a smaller account so now that we know this what we're going to do is click open an account and start an application because i do already have an ib care account i won't be able to do it from here but i'll do it from inside my account which is creating a sub account and i'll talk about the trading permission that you want if you want to be a bit more active like a day trader or a swing trader or even a long-term investor so if you already have an account or you're looking to open a new account you're going to go through the same process so if you already have an account click over here go to account setting is going to bring you to this page and you're going to click over here open additional account i already started to create one so what i'll do is finish my application and when you're on this page you're going to see that i'm at regulatory so that means my permission to trade if you're completely new it's going to be about you so that's going to be filling up your basic information your job and all this stuff so i'm in this section the second section and i'm going to choose a margin account there's no reason to just open a cash account because you can have a margin account and just not use the margin but that's what I would do if I would be you. If you have less than $2,000, you want to be opening a cash account because if you open a margin account with less than $2,000, bucks, you are not going to be able to trade with it because to have margin, you need over $2,000. So when you selected which account you wanted, the cash or the margin, over here, you're going to have to choose additional product. What I recommend is already choose whatever you think you might trade. The reason why is if you don't select it upfront, then you're going to have to apply later and ask to upgrade your permission. If you just apply it at first, is just easier so i have about four to five year experience trading stocks so i have extensive knowledge over here options i do have extensive knowledge in option because i've traded options in the past and also i read a lot so if you're familiar with product even if you haven't traded them a lot you could be considered extensive knowledge and it could upgrade your permission i'm going to choose all north america because this is what i want and also futures same thing north america any future that is tradable in North America. I just want to make sure I have permissions right away. The currency exchange is going to be done automatically. And something that you want to enroll is the stock yield and enhancement program. This is the hard to borrow stocks. So to be able to lend your shares to other broker or other traders for a profit. And then it's going to bring you to the next page, which is the agreement page. So it's just going to tell you to agree to whatever you selected in your account. I'm not going to show this page because there's all my personal information. But overall, you pretty much just need to sign at the bottom of the page and click next. Because we already have an IBQ account, it should be approved in one or two days. But over here, we're going to have a little questionnaire because they want to know why you're adding an account to your overall account. So over here, I'm opening this account because I'm trading option. So I want to trade option in this account and we're going to click continue. So now the application is submitted. So we just have to wait a couple of days for an answer. And after that, we'll proceed with funding. So the next video I'll do about IBQR is going to be about funding your account and the different way that you can fund it. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you do like and subscribe, let me know what you want to see next.